begins, my friends. I just want you to make sure that I want you to thank, I want to thank you guys so much for reaching 50 subscribers. I knew we could do it, guys. But today, today, I know on the front cover, <clears throat> it said that we were doing, this is not a Shakespeare play. It is not, guys. This today is a very special command, uh, can I get through command slash structure block slash resource pack that you need to download like you can see here some blocks that you have never seen before um so yeah welcome guys to the tempest box um yeah uh yeah 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 so I am going to give you the okay <laughs> oh my gosh this is so funny so I want to I don't want to waste any time this is the Temptus Box, guys. The Temptus Box is a new feature you can add to 1.11 world. And you can see here we have a lot to cover today. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, if you want to load this into your world, you're going to have to download all the stuff. But I'm not telling you that. You're going to have to you're going to have to look it up on the Dragon's website. But today, in order to get yourself this, you need to get a structure lock which is give your name um, S-T-R-U, press tab, you press tab again, you get yourself a structure block. Now, it, and then press this twice to make it to a load block. Now you need to type in TTB, and it will load, but I'm not going to do it because it, I have already here. And if it loads, it should come up with this sounding box, which is these lines. Now you need to click load once more, and it will come up with the Temptus box. Now, just to make sure... Uh, that's funny because that happens a lot. So to make sure, just click all these signs that say enable whatever in order for everything to work. Otherwise, it will not. So let's get my little stuff. Yeah, let's get our stuff. Sorry, guys, I have a sort of a dry, sort of a muffy throat. So I've got a diamond sword, diamond pickaxe, and these crafting recipe things that I might need for this video today. So actually, I didn't. I don't know why I'm using the diamonds pickaxe because I don't need it and you die because I don't need you interrupting my intro thank you so today guys the first thing we're going to interview is all these mobs now I'm not gonna go too into detail about everything because I only I want I want to show you everything in this video and yeah let's get started so the first mob is the ogre the ogre can break blocks um, the ogre can break blocks, has a hundred health, can spawn on grass, and yeah, that's it. And this is what the ogre looks like. He can, like, he cannot swim in water, though. That's the thing. So, die. He, some, he will drop rotten flesh, skulls, bones, sometimes, um, gold, and some other mineral, minerals, but I'll let you guys do that. So, next mob we have is the nether knight. The nether knight has a 3% chance of spawning in on... Uh, another rack, and yeah, and it says in his descriptions that you don't know, but I will tell you guys, it's the nether axe he drops. Gives you knockback, whatever, just fire spec one, and efficiency, whatever. So, boom. Um, the next mob is the ender menace. The ender menace is a mob that, that, that teleports you around. Yeah, that's what should happen. He carries an ice block. He can turn skeletons into wither skeletons, zombies into baby zombies, creepers supercharged, and I couldn't even think that's it, but can you shut up please? And he will drop an eye vendor and his little ice block, yeah! So, we, have, we can't waste time guys, we have the next mob which is the dust blood. The dust blood is a filthy creature that spawns below Y level 30, can spawn in groups, so I'll spawn four of them, because that's where they usually spawn. Um, and they drop fermented spider eyes, and the guys, and they drop, and they drop gunpowder sometimes, but it's obviously more, they obviously drop it more than they ever do. Anyways, the next mob is the Blight. The Blight can spawn in ice, gives you extreme slowness, and has a special drop when it dies. And is, is pretty much invincible, but the only way you can kill it is TNT. So, well, I have an extreme diamond sword here. So, the next, the, this special drop is called the Blight Wand. The Blight Wand will give you knockback 5, but it will give you extreme, extreme slowness, and it will it will give this aura around you. But after a while, it will break. So, be, be careful on how you use this stuff. So, the next mob is the Assassin. The Assassin spawns in deserts, and he can switch between his sword and his, um... 
his sword and his bow, depending on where you are, and he drops a special drop called the katana, which he did not drop, which will make you faster when you hold it. Next mob is the is Aquarius. Aquarius is a mob that spawns in near water, will try to drown you, is in, invincible to drowning, and is a, has a special drop. And he dropped it. The special drop is the flippers, which are Depth Strider 5 boots, which I can go over here and give it a quick example of. Don't worry, guys, I've been experimenting with this stuff. So look how fast you go in these boots. So yeah, there. that is the Aquarius. You know, if you want me to, com please comment below. If you want me to make a more in-depth video about all of this stuff, then you can. But anyway, guys, the next mob is the Angry Zombie. The Angry Zombie is a lot like the regular one. Just red eyes, extremely fast, and I think it can summon in reinforcements, but I'm not quite sure. Has the normal drops, and that is pretty much him. Uh, the next mob is the Wisp. The Wisp spawn below while, while level 32, summons slowness arrows right above you, can strike lightning by you, and is only killable by the Mage one, which is a new drop by the Mage, I'll show you later, but of course I have this thing. <laughs> Die. Uh, 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 I don't want you to destroy my- Please don't, please don't, please don't. No, he did! Oh, shame on you, Wisp. How did he get here? There we go, I finally killed the Wisp, but he's pretty much destroyed my, um, showcase area. <laughs> Anyways, enough laughing. The next mob is the Torgan, which- Where are you, Torgan? Oh, yeah, it's in the chest, duh. The next mob is the Torgan, which is a mob which will spawn, um, next to a Magren, and has extreme- no, no, that's a Magnet. Magnet has extreme thorns, but the Torgan can jump extremely high, has these tools, and will drop a special drop, which it didn't. Will drop bones, rotten flesh, and something called the Orc Medicine. I know I'm talking extremely fast, but it will give you poisonous- poison, blindness, I think, speed, and saturation? Saturation? I think, I don't know. But this is the Magrin. This is the other mob that will spawn near them. Can one extremely fast, has extreme thorns, and it didn't drop it. Gosh darn it, you. Um, the next mob is the Skitter. The Skitter is, can only spawn in the desert, rides on spiders, and is pretty much invincible. The only way you can kill it is to make it land on gold blocks, which it's literally hating me right now. But of course I'm going to kill it with my super OP diamond sword, and it drops something called the skitter, the skitter one. The skitter, are you kidding? I don't like it when it rains in my showcases. Dang it. So the next, this is the skitter one. The skitter one will have you get you extreme jump boost and extreme speed. So you can pretty much do, be like a skitter. So don't want to break that, because, um... Next mob is the vampire. The vampire also spawns below Y level 30. L looks like this, and will turn into a bat. That is the only way it can be killed, is by a bat. But, of course, I cheat and kill it this way. Um, it drops a vampire fang, which is pretty much useless now. So, the next on, next to, to the next row. <laughs> Anyways, the next mob is the Wander. The Wander also spawns below Y level 30. It's pretty. Cr it's one of the creepiest mobs. It is a zombie, pretty much, that gives you this cool sound effect. It also will give you blindness, um, mining fatigue, so bad they can't mine any blocks, which I just did because I'm creative, and it gives you weakness, so... Die. It will also drop glowstone and redstone, so just wait for these effects to wear off. And that's extremely weird lighting. Don't know why that happened. But anyways, guys, the next mob is the Yeti. The Yeti spawns in snowy areas, so if you wanted to look for one, they would be there, 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 or there, like pretty much everywhere. The Yeti has extreme speed, jump beat boosts, and has and when you drop when you kill it, it drops snowballs, but it didn't. Uh, the last mob is the mage, like I was talking about before. The mage is also pretty creepy. The mage look like this. They summon in a bunch of things. They summon in fire tongues like this, which are bats on fire that are extremely dangerous. And they also summon in lightning. They also summon in ogres like that, 
and they drop the mages one, which is the only way you can kill a um a, a wisp. Now that is all the mods, guys. Now I'm gonna move on to the new blocks that are added into this thing. Now, in order to craft these blocks, you cannot use a normal crafting table. What you need is this active. No, oh, oh my. Ah, uh, oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my. My, my inventory is, no, I don't want it, I don't want my stuff back. My inventory is crammed filled with stuff, and I want to get rid of all the useless stuff, and I want to get all the good stuff. So I think that's all I need. Yep. So in order to craft this beautiful crafting table, you need a enchantment table, which of course you know the recipe for, and you need a dropper. The dropper must be facing up, and you must put the following recipe in here. An iron over the middle, three obsidian on the bottom, two gas tiers, and three diamonds. I have extra for another cracking recipe. So then simply drop it on there, and you have yourself the new crafting table called the Temptus Crafter. The Temptus Crafter will let you craft any of this new stuff that I'm about to show you. Um, yeah. I do not know how to craft these blocks. I'll have to link it into the description, all of the crafting recipes it I thought that was an Ender Menace for, the sec for a second, but then I'll tell you what they do. So this is the quarry. The quarry, oh, by the way, if you want to place these, you will not get any luck. But in order to place these, you must drop them. In order to break them, you just break them like normal, except this one, this dropped a diamond pickaxe. What it does is it, um, if you place two quarries, like one, say one here and one down, like 10 blocks, it will pretty much over time mine that area so it's pretty good i mean what's bad what's worse than that so the spirit infuser i honestly have no idea what this does but it, i'll just say it just looks really cool um so there's that the next one is the block transformer which i know it does what it does i think it trend it does like transform blocks so if i put a wood plank here on top of it i think over time it will transform that block but i'm not going to wait that long because i'm too i am too unpatient but the next block is the poison emitter we have some little sheepy friends we could we could use this on sorry i just have a, such a bad throat today so the poison emitter will emit poison and it will sense mobs around it i've actually not used it but i'm just guessing that's what it does so work you stupid piece of junk seriously work i think the tempest box Ooh, here it goes i think it's about to emit poison yep there it goes it just emitted poison which is pretty good for like other mobs and that's that's what that does it just emits poison over time so there is that the poison emitter. The next block is the metal alchemist. I do not know what this thing does. I honestly don't. What the heck? But oh, it just broke. Okay, that works. The next um block is the growth aura, which I do know what this does. It will make any plants grow pretty much. So if you make like a little farm like this, add some seeds, and then place the growth aura in the middle. Over time, it will make it grow it re like extremely fast, but it will take time, so we might want to leave this alone for a little bit, so it'll grow those little crops until they be happy and healthy. I am so funny, but anyways, <laughs> oh jeez, the third to last block, I'm watching you, yeah, I'm watching you, the next, the next block is the macerator, I do not know what this does, oh, there it goes, it just cr grew all those blocks. But yeah, 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 I don't even know. I do not know what this does. I do not know. So it is just basically a, a masonator. I, if you guys out there know what a masonator is, it's probably not even a thing. Go ahead. But these two la these three last ones, I do know what these are. So this one is the block breaker, which will pretty much break any block except for bedrock, of course. So if, say if, it, if I place a wooden block here, it will eventually break it like that, and it will break a lot. Of, it'll break obsidian. I've tried it before, but I do, like I said before, I do not want to spend too much time on everything. Um, gosh darn it! I didn't put away this thing. Uh, 
Jeez, I want to. Okay, so the next block is the sand sifter, which I found, which is pretty cool. So, you know, when you guys, you know, you've gone to the beach sometimes, and you, you know, you found, you use those metal detectors, and, uh, you find stuff. Well, this is almost exactly the same as what it's meant to be. And look at that thing. That's, it's like a little pet monster. It's so cute. But anyways, when you have the sand sifter, you place, you open it up, and you place sand inside of it, and you wait until it, it transforms the sand, which I don't know why it's not transforming the sand. Oh, I know why. You don't put it inside. But that time, it got some melon, se melon seeds out of the thing. So what you do is you place sand on top of it, and then wait for it to sift, and this time it found a stick. So we'll find anything from, I think, I don't know what it, oh, that found, it found a bone. So sometimes it will not find anything, and it'll output a sand block. Um, that one, I'll put it as spider eye. Hmm. So this is actually quite useful for if you don't, if you're a coward and you don't want to, um, do, if you don't want to collect mob items like that. But anyways, the next block is the XP collector. The XP collector does exactly what you think it does. When you spray XP bottles around it, it will eventually, you'll hear it like a monster voice. And it will collect all this XP eventually. So if I just let it sit for a little bit, it eventually would collect it, like it just did. And I'll just let that just sit. And I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, guys, that is all the blocks for today. I hope you had a great day. This is the end of the video. Subscribe, leave a like. No, I'm just kidding. I am totally messing with you guys. So the... Shut up. Anyways, the ne oh yeah, if you break this, it'll lose you'll lose all your XP. But anyway, guys, the next items are the um no 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 not those. The next items are the spirit gems, which are new gems. Like you know, you're tired of diamond or emerald or all that stuff. Well, here are some new ores you can collect, not by mining, but by crafting, actually. So there are three different types of gems, and there are three different types of levels. Listen carefully. So, the first ones I'm going to review today are the healing gems. These are quite simple. All you have to do... Oh, I didn't want to do that. So all you have to do is place a... Oh, come on. What did I... Oh, what? I didn't even put one inside of there. It's, that's quite odd. So I'll just get that... Why are all these blocks so creepy? Anyways, so the next... So, to make a level 1 healing gem, you must place a potion of healing in the middle. And here you go, it just crafted a other bite. Now, all of these gems have special effects, and they also have down effects. Like this one, Aether Bite. That gives you more health, but you lose attack damage. And to obtain these, and to make these work, press put, put them in your offhand, like I just did, but... Um, yeah, if I put, if I do steel skin, and I do this, you can see I just lost some speed. So, that is, and they cannot break either, so you're, you're happy, you're all happy, yeah. So, some of these are, some of these are level 1s, level 2s, and level 3s. To make level 2, like, the one I just did were level, was a level 1 spirit gem. So to make a level 2, you must place a healing potion in here, surrounded by- Oh, I just made an- I just made a thingy, Bob. So, I just made one, so you need to put the golden last before you need to put the golden last, because otherwise it will turn into that. So a level 2 healing gem is a, one of these ones, a titan skin, which is cool. I mean, I don't know, I'm not going to go in too depth about this. These are- these are speed gems. Now, these are pretty cool. Now, these will increase your speed, but will in in decrease everything else. Now, to make a level 3 gem you, of any kind, you just take a... You just surround it by gold, but I need a potion. I'll just use a swift one. Boom. And then it will make a gem for you, which this one is called Warp Mize. This one, you get speed, you lose health, you gain attack speed, but you lose attack damage. Now, all these have positives and negatives, but I'm not going to go on too much about these. The last kind of gem you can obtain is the 
strength gems. These are the coolest out of the three. Of the three. Reason? Because of their textures. Um, these are called, these are will all increase your speed. My favorite out of these is the demon, which doesn't do anything special. You just lose a bunch of stuff, but you get attack damage. Now, guys, if I were you, I'd go for the healing gem, because these are pretty bad, and yeah. And you're like, hey, Alfie Brian, this looks like a red flint. Well, guess what? You're right. Now stop. Now, um, Bronze Fist, Sacra Flint, Demon Flint, Byron Fist. These are all gems you can get, but goodbye, you are no longer wanted. Uh, yeah. So, those are all the gems you can find or craft in your world. Now, the before we move on to the last thing, there is one more thing. The Spirit Reader. Now, currently, I do not know what the Spirit Reader is. Spirit Reader does, but I think what it does is will, it will read any gem, like, if you hold a gem in your offhand, or if you hold it in, I, I don't even know, but if you hold it in your, oh jeez, you lose a lot of stuff there, gosh, but I think the Spirit Reader will tell you what the gem does, even though it already displays what it does, I don't know why they did that, but, the last thing I'm going to show you today in the Temptus box, guys, is stats. Now, this is the coolest add-on, for me, at least. Now, in order to craft these beautiful staffs, you must go to the crafting table, Temptus Crafter, and you must place diamond, you must make a, uh, you must make this crafting formation. And it will give you a random staff from any of the um, staffs that it will give you. But this time it gave me a relativity staff or whatever. But it will give you a random staff every time you do that crafting recipe. This, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start it right now, guys, because we do not have a lot of time. I admit, at least, I mean, and I'm just gonna get some of the zombie friends. We can try this on them. So the first thing is the in, in the is the uh, infallible staff, which is the one of the strongest staffs there is. Now this staff will give you, if you right click it, it will give you blindness, night vision, weakness, slowness, and resistance. So you're pretty much invincible while you're in your thing. And you gotta be careful guys, because if you use these too much, it will eventually deplete, it will tell you, like down below, see it says 36% depleted. And yeah, you just need to be, you just need to be wise in how you use these things. So, I mean, uh, 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 uh. Okay, that, that's that staff. The next staff is the time staff. The time staff does look pretty cool from here, from this angle, but I mean, the time staff almost, it, if you right, anyways, if you right click it, you will teleport to a random place and it will sometimes turn a little darker, like I'm just teleporting. But what's actually, oh, actually went pretty far from here. So what's actually happening is you're traveling through into the future. So basically, if I were not to use that staff, I'd somehow end up over there, which is pretty cool. So, um, what's the next staff? Oh, the next staff is the harvest staff, which I think has two, only two uses. This is the rarest staff you can get. Now, these, this purpose is not for any, nothing to do with wheat or any of that stuff. It's nothing to do with growing. What it actually is for, is for harvesting spawn eggs from mobs. So say you go up to a spider and right click it, which is only, it's already 90% depleted, but if you go inside of it, you get a spider spawn egg, which is pretty cool. If I do it one more time, boom, it breaks, and you get another spider spawn egg. So that is one of the coolest things I've seen so far. Um, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you my favorite staff soon. The next step is the ether staff, which I need to be careful, because what it does will change into your, will change you into survival mode, so what it does, it changes you into a ghost, which is really cool, you can spectate around the world for about, I'd say, oh jeez, I didn't notice that, oh jeez, I need to get back over here, there's zombies, 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 it's game mode, uh, one, no, no! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Oh my gosh. But anyways, it will make you into a spectator and you will have about maybe like seven seconds of flying. 
And that's that staff. Or was it? Yeah, that was the last staff. So the next staff is the captive staff, which, um, I wish it would, ca it would, like, hypnotize mobs and then they, they would follow you around and be your minions, but this is not what it does. What it actually does is traps mobs in a cobblestone cage. And it has, a, it's pretty useful, I mean, for, like, if you're fighting against, like, a player or something. It is multiplayer compatible, by the way. If you're fighting against, like, a player or something, it would be useful. If you're doing, like, a PvP match or something, this would be useful. And one of the other staffs would be useful for a PvP match, which I'm, it's coming up, which I see it, it's really cool. The next staff is the opposite of me, the refrigerant staff, because, you know, I'm a match too. The refrigerant staff is almost exactly what it does. When you right-click, oh yeah, just an enderman, just put that there. It will do many things. It will turn grass into snow, I water into ice, it will freeze mobs, watch this. It will freeze mobs in ice, and it will turn lava into cobblestone, which is which is very useful in the nether. So, if I were to build a nether portal, which I can do that now, um, if you were to build another portal, and if there was a giant, um, oh yeah, observers, pretty cool, get it? Yeah, 1.11 just came out, yeah, yeah. If you if you don't have 1.11, you shouldn't even be watching this video because if you don't have 1.11, I'm speechless because if you don't, oh jeez, that's too small. If you don't have it, it is already out. If you don't, if you can't, up, uh, up. Uh, I made it too tall, but that's okay. I mean, I keep putting this stuff on myself, so. Oh, my battery, my computer's almost out of batteries. So that's great. Just when I was about to finish this thing. So, looks like we have the perfect example of, the, you know, and other knights will spawn in here as well. So I can show you examples of them spawning, which I don't see any. Oh, there's one actually right there. <laughs> that's quite odd. But anyways, let me show you what this thing does. It will turn, look at this. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you, it will turn lava into magma blocks, then it will turn it into cobblestone, which I forgot to tell you that. So, it is sort of useful when traveling through the nether, I mean, I mean, if you travel long distances, distances with it. So, if I can find my nether portal, there it is, I don't want to get lost, and my computer is almost out of batteries. So, I want to finish this really soon, so you guys can watch this video when I post it, but that is the refrigerant staff. The next staff today is the rehab. I don't even know how to pronounce it. The next staff is the this staff. This staff will teleport you to a random mob. It will help you, and it will give you super speed, like super speed. Even su oh geez, my computer's almost out of batteries. Okay, this is bad. Um, it will give you that. So the next, this the next one is the chatter staff. The chatter staff is my favorite. Obviously, it's magma blockish. But if you right click near a mob, it will send them in the air and it'll make them explode. There's that staff. Um, the next staff is the repollution staff, which I do not know. What does this do? I don't know what this does. I don't really know. The next staff is perfect for, for all you miners out there. The extraction staff. Now, if you dig down a little bit and then right click, it will mine gravel and a durite, andesite, granite stone and we'll leave the ores alone so you can mine them pretty cool the last two things in the tempest box there are a couple more things but i'm not going to show it to you because i'm not new the next two things are the light relics the bright relics and the dark relics the dark relics when when held and when held in the offhand with the staff when you're holding a staff and you hold these relics in your hand they will recharge them and will use up the relic now I do currently I do not know how to get these so you might have to cheat cheat if you want to but yeah anyway guys this this was the super long showcase of the Temptus box I'll leave the download in the description below so you go oh. well I guess I can finish off this area my favorite place in the whole wide world um well at least in, my, in Minecraft so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to The Crafty Nation. This is not RP Ryan Plays, I need to remember that. Please subscribe to The Crafty Nation, and I'll see you all later. Woo, bye! Oh, yep. Yeah. By the way, when I made this video, we had about 66 subscribers, so keep on going, guys. Bye!